But Cole is the um, driver of the number double zero Haas Automation Ford. And uh, congratulations, Cole, on this victory today. But maybe just tell us a little bit about you know your experience yesterday in the car and what you thought of of the course and and kind of you know going into the unique circumstances of today as well. No, yeah, I mean it's it's been an awesome weekend overall. Just the whole event, I mean the whole thing that NASCAR's put on here and the whole city has been pretty unreal. I mean I think everybody was a little bit skeptical going in and all the drivers, but the course is such a blast to drive. I mean there's definitely passing zones out there, but it's such a risk versus reward as a driver. You know you can push it out there and run fast laps, but you're going to be on the edge of wrecking. So it's it's definitely a, a blast to drive and puts it in the driver's hands a little bit. But um, today, I mean, we definitely wish we could have ran, run all the laps. I mean, it sucks that we, you know, we don't want to win it this way. But at the end of the day, we had a really fast car. Um, I think everybody knew that. So um, I think this team can compete with anybody out there. Um, and we're really hitting our stride. And I'm really proud of everybody at JT and all the guys at the shop who have worked so hard to put us in this situation. All right, we'll now go to questions for Cole. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll work to get a microphone to you. We'll start up front with Bob and then move to Lee. Go ahead, Bob. Uh, Bob Power for Fox Sports. I don't know, did you get a chance to look at any areas of the track? Do you have any idea, like, how far? I mean, was there any possibility you felt of you all getting out on there? Yeah, I didn't even see it, honestly. I mean, I was sitting in the car most of the time, and, uh, you know, I just heard there was a lot of standing water, like, through 7 through 11 or so. So... Uh, you know, I'm sure all the cup guys are praying the rain goes away, you know, because they do not probably want to deal with that. But um, it's wild. I mean, I, it's wild enough just being by yourself out there in the dry. I can't imagine it with, you know, 40 guys out there in the, in the wet. So um, we'll see what they're all made of today if they have to do that. All right, Lee. Friends for Cash Friends, what do you say to the fans that, you know, came and really – Wanted to experience the Xfinity race. Wanted to experience the concerts. Honestly, it was pretty surreal. I mean, the first on the pace laps, we rolled off pit road, and you could hear them cheering, like from the stands in turns uh, between one and two. And like I've never experienced that. I don't think anywhere at any other racetrack. You know, like they were just screaming and yelling. You could hear them, and it was it was pretty awesome. So, and, and the stands for Xfinity race were packed. So it was yesterday. So it was uh, it was definitely a really cool event. You're, you're up there with Bush Light, and I remember your first poll was also in the state of Illinois at Worldwide Technology, and you couldn't even drink at that point, so you've kind of come full circle with the two, your, your first poll and now this win in Illinois. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, uh, you know, we got to do the Stone Cold thing. We're going to do this that after this, I think, <laughs> um, but um, they said it's a felony to jump in the fountain, so we're probably not going to do that, I guess, <laughs> but uh, we wanted to, but... Um, and we could. I just find to get me from jail, I guess. All right, we're going to go to Jonathan and then Daniel. Go ahead. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, John, the PL, the racing experts. Uh, Cole, what was your impression of the track as you got running there? Uh, definitely treacherous. I mean, for us, with how the Xfinity cars are with the solid rear axle, you know, we wheel hop a lot. So going into turn six, turn four, turn seven, all of them that had bumps going in there were definitely treacherous on, you know, one mistake and you will hop too much and you're gonna be in the fence. So it was definitely edgy in the Xfinity cars and I'm sure it is in the cup cars too, um, but it's just finding the limit because the second you, you step past that limit, you're in big trouble. So uh, it's, it's definitely nerve wracking for sure. Dale McFadden, Frenchers.com. Uh, two, two questions. Uh, for, uh, first, how awkward is it to be celebrating a win a little less than 24 hours after you, you last had the engine fired? Yeah, definitely probably the most awkward win I've been a part of. Um, you know, just because you're so disconnected from the race. You know, we raced 24 hours ago. So it's definitely one of the weirdest wins I've ever been a part of, for sure. But we'll take it. I mean, you know, we're racers and we'll, uh, you take it as it comes. So we're, we're proud of it. We'll take the playoff points and keep it going. And what does it mean to you to be technically the, the first NASCAR race winner on a street course? It's huge. I mean, being a part of that, you'll take that to the day you die, you know, saying that you were the first winner on the Chicago street course and, um, you know, the whole event that they put on here. So um, it means a lot and hopefully just keep it rolling through the season. All right. Hey, everyone. Zane Smith, driver number 38 Ford for Front Row Motorsports. Be sure to subscribe to Front Stretch on YouTube.